previously on Onboard Lifestyle. We left Marina Mazalon to shake down our port engine repair and drop the hook at the Stone Island anchorage. After a quick inspection, engine actually sounds better than it has, well, forever. It's all systems go, so we set sail for Isla Isabella. Unfortunately, the anchorage was a bit too crowded, so we were forced to divert. A few too many boats for us to uh, safely have a, a good night. The 40 mile diversion was mixed with plenty of excitement. The humpback whales were putting on quite the show. We landed a few fish that were not so desirable. Skip Jack, I think. Yep, yep. skip Jack. Okay, let it go. Oh, it's huge! And the crew sets the Rockta in 17 feet of the calm blue water of Bahia Mantichin. And that's where we'll pick up our story. Welcome to Mansichin Bay. I know what everyone's thinking. Look at that. <laughs> Teal without a shirt. shirt. Working on his tan. Man, I got to. <laughs> so we are just beachcombing Mansichin Bay. Trying Home to. Home of the no -seams. <laughs> and sidestepping these little clams with the spikes on them. I do not want to step on one of those. <laughs> It'll be one of you two first, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> Look at this, we're anchored half a mile offshore. We're only on, what, 15 feet of water out there. For a good reason, too, though. Yeah, to stay, we want to stay in the middle of the bay to stay away from the bugs at night. During the day, it's fine here. It's kind of interesting, you'll see a ton of, um, these uh, stands that sell banana bread and bug repellent. Yes. So I think they're known for their banana bread. <laughs> and their <laughs> bugs. <laughs> and there's little smudge pots. They'll start lighting these up right before dusk to help uh, combat the insects for the tourists. But we'll be... But, uh, but we're prepared this time with lots of bug spray. And we'll be way out there. We'll so be, hopefully we'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> I know we will. We were fine last night. But this is a great place to uh, explore. There's a lot of history here and crocodiles. Yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could swim with them. We'll see. What happened? <laughs> Your dad stepped on. Right after I said, I bet you that would hurt if you stepped oh, on one of those. Yeah, that's pretty bad. There's some. Are they inside my skin? Yes. I mean, like below the skin level. Not that I'm, I'm seeing right now. There was some that was oh, close. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. Oh, right here. I see one right here. Hold on. Is that one? No, that's just me. <laughs> Is it bleeding? No, it's not bleeding, but it got oh. me pretty good. This whole area. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. I need tweezers. I think. Yeah. These ones are really close. So the, it's like this. You guys have any? There's a clam right here, right next to you. Look. Yeah. See this? Here, See spike? this is this is what he stepped in right here. And of course, you had to rake them all off. <laughs> Oof. There's spikes There's on right all here. of these usually. They break off so easy. And who who warned us all of stepping on these? Uh, that would be me. <laughs> Hold on okay, now. my foot is on fire. I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah, it's in there. Oh, it's in there. It's coming out. Okay, I got it. You sure? It hurts mm -hmm. so bad. I know. Yeah, I got it. Wow. Okay, lesson Wait. learned. Look before you step. Man. <laughs> yeah, I think you got him. Wow, that hurt. Okay, let's go. Let's see You're if welcome. I can, let's see if I can hurt myself again. 
been really looking forward to this place. San Blas was once a thriving port for shipbuilding as well as explorers. And I've been doing a bit of research, thank you Google, <laughs> on this place because we're going to the Fort of San Blas today. Did you know that there was a famous poem written about this place? It's called The Bells of San Blas by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. What say the bells of San Blas to the ships that southward pass from the harbor of Mazatlan? To them it is nothing more than the sound of surf on shore, nothing more to master or man. But to me a dreamer of dreams, to whom what is and what seems are often one and the same. The bells of San Blas to me have a strange wild melody and are nothing more than a name. For the bells are the voice of the church, they have tones that touch and search the hearts of young and old. One sound to all, yet each lends a meaning to their speech, and the meaning is manifold. It is just wild that this building is still standing. It was constructed in 1781, and it just feels amazing. I mean, just think about the history and how many people have gone through here. It's beautiful. It is. It's so cool. They are the voice of the past, of an age that is fading fast, of power asture and grand, when the flag of Spain unfurled, it folds o'er this western world, and the priest was lord of the land. The chapel that once looked down on the little seaport town has crumbled into dust. On oaken beams below, the bells swing to and fro, and are green with mold and rust. Is then the old faith dead, they say, and instead in new faith proclaimed, and we are forced to remain naked to sun and rain, unsheltered and ashamed. Once our tower aloof, we rang over wall and roof. Warning our complaints, we round us there, like white doves filled the air, like the white souls of the saints. The saints, all they've grown, forgetful of their own, are they sleep or dead, that open to the sky, they ruin the mission's lie, no longer tenanted. Oh, bring us back once more, the vanished days of yore, when the world was, with faith was filled, bring back the fervent zeal, the hearts of fire and steel, the hands that believe and build. Then from our tower again, we will send over land and main, our voices of command, when the, like the exiled kings who return to their thrones, and the people learn that the priest was lord of the land. Oh, the bells of San Blas in vain, ye call back the past again. The past is deaf to your prayer, over the shadows of the night, the world rolls into light. It is daybreak everywhere. The fort was way more than I expected. It was beautiful. I loved everything about today. Except for the taxi ride that was a little sketchy. San Blas downtown and uh, there's five of us and the taxi only holds comfortably four so this is comfortable this is what happens <laughs> so I, the mother is sitting on the child's lap I think it's very comfortable <laughs> Checking on Tool and Emma. It is a uh, pretty hot day, and so they decided to go for a little run on the paddleboard, just kind of stringing something up. Eventually, we'll get something better for uh, for us to uh, play behind uh, our dinghy. But in the meantime, nothing like a good old rope and your paddleboard. Looks like that's a pretty nice setup so far. I think I want to do it too. It is um, just noon. I'm trying to get some work done on my cookbook, but it is pretty hot. The humidity is, I'd have to say 80, and it's 85 degrees inside the cabin. So yeah, a little sweltering, but I can't complain. I've been talking about how I want this heat. The heat's here and it's only going to get hotter.
I think that this is going to be a new sport for us, huh? <laughs> Maybe. You want to jump in the water for a little bit? Uh, probably, yeah. Emma, how'd you like it? I want to try it too. Time for some fun. Lots of fun today. <laughs> okay, we got everything, right? We yep. have everything. I've got everything. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be gone for a few hours. This it's is a long be, one. It's a four hour tour on the crocodile tour. A four hour tour. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. Compass wants to go so bad, but I don't think this is a good one for him to, uh, no, he'd to be, be included. No, he'd be a little hors d'oeuvre on this <laughs> tour. Some other cruisers have done this. We have never done the crocodile tour. It's at a nature preserve, just maybe a half a mile up off the beach. We're going to walk up there. We'll uh, land the dinghy over here by these palapas and uh, go have some fun today. What do you think? I am so excited. This is going to be awesome. I've never seen a crocodile before. Oh, actually, I think I have. Not in the... A long time ago. Not in the wild. Not in the wild. All okay, right, count well, your fingers before you go. Make sure we come back with all of our toes and fingers <laughs> and not stumps, right? Okay, let's go. This place did not disappoint, that was right cool. guys? 
Uh, so oh, far. I got to swim. It was so nice. <laughs> with the crocodiles. Not with any crocodiles, oh, but wow. we are we have been seeing a lot of crocodiles and uh, not too bad. It's a three to four hour nice to uh, little trip and it has uh, a lot to offer. There's a restaurant at the end and for 200 pesos, you just can't beat that. Aquí. I think the last couple of days in uh, San Blas has been successful. We kind of just slowed our pace down and just really enjoyed the area. And I have to say that aside from the no stands, this, um, this stop was a success. We're starting to kind of get the hang of cruising, slowing down our pace and uh, just kind of enjoying the sight. It's going to be a nice, simple meal of Mongolian beef tonight because tomorrow we are heading to Chikala. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. If you liked our video, don't forget to give us a like and remember to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Our videos are made possible by the support of our amazing patrons. Join our crew if you can. We so enjoyed our time in San Blas, no seams and all, and are excited for our next stop to see where the adventure takes us. Come back next week to see another awesome new video. See you then!